Hey gorgeous, how are ya? It's probably gonna take a little bit before I get your message because your energy is a little closed off. It feels like, like you're a little nervous. Um, I'm using, what you I'm using my deck, Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle Cards. These, I don't know if you're familiar with the Oracle, they're similar to tarot except for each card has its own meaning versus the tarot ones um, have more specific meanings so each of these have like a general it's like a general message that we're getting anyways uh, let's see what does Jalissa need today she wants to know why she has so much anxiety I can tell you right now part of it's the moon and the atmosphere and the planets this doesn't feel like yours These are yours. I can feel it. I felt like it was more than that too. Okay. When peace is your priority, negativity cannot exist. How can you see through the eyes of source energy and prioritize your inner peace? You need to prioritize your peace. Do you do protection on yourself? Um, if not, basically what I mean protection is asking your ancestors and asking God and asking the universe, whomever you believe in, in spirit, um, to protect you. How I do it is I picture a bright white light going from the top of my head all the way to the bottom of my feet, asking to be protected from the negativity because you're an empath. And if you haven't looked up empath, you need to because you feel things very deeply and your body picks up on other people's energies as well. So I think when you, what's the word? I think when you accept that, that you're an empath and you understand, you'll see all these patterns of narcissists. And this is one way of you having a lot of anxiety. And there's definitely more, so I'm gonna go a little further. Nothing real can be threatened how can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? Oh, anything that's meant for you is yours and can't be taken. Like things that I focused on when I was younger was education, books, reading. I loved reading because no matter what happens, I'm always going to have that up here. It's always going to be in the brain. And I have taught myself that I can be trustworthy. And that when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And my body recognizes that. And I think if you start making little goals, even if it's something as silly as I need to write today for three minutes, even if it's only a sentence, do those things that you're pushing away, the self-care, self-love stuff. Okay? You deserve to feel good. You deserve to have nice things. You deserve to have a beautiful education. You deserve a good home. And you can have all those things. And you do. So, stop. Take a deep breath. When you're starting to feel that anxiety, be like, why am I feeling this? Am I in a dangerous situation right now? Or is my body just anxious? If you can determine if it's your brain that's anxious versus your body, your body, you'll start to randomly just get palpitations or your breathing will be difficult. Like even talking about anxiety, I can feel it in my body. Versus when I've been thinking and I've been intentionally thinking and overthinking and overthinking and overthinking and thinking about, well, what could happen? What could this? What could that? There's so much like people don't talk about PTSD enough. And I know when I was diagnosed, it was only for people that were veterans or severe child abuse. Well, I had child abuse, but it wasn't severe. It wasn't enough for normal people to think it was bad. So don't judge and don't let anybody judge you because PTSD comes from bad situations or scary things that happened. It doesn't even have to be something big. Literally, you can get PTSD just from watching TV. So, like, I'm sure you were alive when September 11th happened, yeah. Like, like I feel like you have a memory of it, right? Because I was in high school when it happened, so you must be. Because you feel like you're close-ish to my age, like 29 or something. I don't know. You're going to laugh right now because I'm probably way off. Um, yeah, I really feel like a lot of us that were forced to watch the planes go into 
the buildings over and over and over again. I don't know about your school, but mine made us watch the news until it was time to go home at like 2.30. It was crazy. So there's something in your life that is traumatizing you that you're consistently around and you need to sit with those thoughts and figure out what the fuck is going on. I hope this helped you, honey. I feel like I want to read um, what the definition is on this guy right here for you. Because this, mm, this has more answers for you. 20. Card number 20 on page 20. Okay, here we go. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. This passage from A Course in Miracles is a divine reminder that the most important things in life are not the things we've been taught to focus on. When you go inward into your heart, you will see the areas of your life that you feel inauthentic. At times, life can feel out of control and overwhelming, but when you remind yourself where your true power lies, connected to source energy and divine love, all illusions fall away. The love within you can pull you into a more peaceful state. When you look outside of yourself, you can easily fall into worry and feel hopeless, yet the outside world is only a reflection of your internal state. Something's going on in here, honey. Look at your inner world and care for it. Make choices that are aligned with your truth, that of love. See the world within you as a beautiful place where all possibilities can manifest. It always starts with you. You are the creator of your experience. Fear and doubt will try to threaten, but love cannot be threatened. When you are aligned with your truth, that of love, nothing can harm you. Divine assignment. This card is an invitation to see the world with fresh eyes. The real world of love, compassion, joy, and participate in the activation of heaven on earth. The world in which we live is, in part, an illusion. It is not real in the sense of the things outside of us and to which we give such importance. The material things, the likes, the follows, the outward forms of success are not representative of our true well. These are fictions created to pull you away from the image of love within you. Everything outside of you is a manipulated reality, but the real world is the one in your heart. The intangibles of hope, peace, joy, and love, these are your true power. The truth can never be taken from you. They are yours because they were part of you. You can choose to allow these blessings to be part of your everyday life, or you can choose to stay in worry, fear, and discomfort. The choice is always yours. I have a TikTok recently that I feel like you would resonate with. You have the power to make your own choices. You have the power over your emotions. You hold the power to your life. Okay, honey? You got this because you know you do. You always got this. You're being called to activate your inner light by seeing yourself as a child of the divine, of God, of source energy. This world we live in is created for you to experience more of who you are and play in the wonder of it all. With this sense of acceptance, you will feel freer, lighter, and more purposeful. And the question that it wants you to ask, you could use it as a journal prompt is, how can I actively participate in creating heaven on earth? What can you do to make the world better? All right, honey, I hope this resonates and I hope it helps. And please don't push off your anxiety. I know how hard it is.